a short term financial strategy allows a firm to maintain a sound liquid position short term policy in this regard should give guidelines for managing investments in receivables payables inventory borrowing foreign exchange and risk management activities a company's policy on short term borrowing should focus on taking advantage of cost saving offered by any particular borrowing there are certain sources of short term borrowing available to a borrower uh, like uncommitted lines of credit it is a very unstable line of credit and extendable at the option of the bank as it does not require any compensation other than the interest thereon committed lines of credit it is a regular and more stronger line of credit because of the bank's formal commitment and verifiable by an acknowledgement letter and it can it can be put noted by the borrower in its financial statement revolving credit agreements the most strongest form of short term bank loans having formal legal agreements defining the borrowing rates and compensations thereon etc there are certain short term borrowing approaches uh, like there should be the existence of a planned strategy to avoid any stuck in an uneconomical situation the borrower must spend some sufficient time on developing a short term borrowing strategy because uh, the borrower should ensure that the firm is able to borrow at all any form of a uh, borrowing source there are certain objectives of short term borrowing policy like uh, there must be enough capability by the borrower to handle peak cash needs there must be uh, some maintenance of sufficient sources of credit to be able to fund the ongoing cash needs it can be possible possible to ensure uh, to keep the rates obtained are cost effective and below the market averages certain factors are there to consider while while borrowing the first is the size and credit worthiness borrower's size allows himself to get econ economies of scale of larger borrowings lender's size sets its lending limits borrower's credit worthiness will determine the rate compensation or even loan the second factor is the sufficient access of the uh, borrower if the borrower is a very uh, demanding very large borrowing then uh, the access to the alternative sources is better flexibility of borrowing options the ability to manage maturities efficiently borrower needs active maturity management awareness of the market condition the ability of the borrower to prepay loans when unexpected cash receipts are available with the borrower certain type of borrowing strategies are available to the borrower the first is the passive borrowing strategy it involves least activity with one borrowing source and type involving very much little planning it is reactive only in response to instant cash needs there is a routine rollovers of borrowing for the same amount each time without much uh, comparison shopping the second borrowing strategy is the active strategies uh, which is more flexible need more planning need reliable forecasting and seek the best deal in the market these strategies are similar to the matching strategies where loans are scheduled to mature when large cash flows are available with the firm or the borrower by asset based loans we mean the short term loans 
secured against current assets of the firm which are like accounts receivables or inventory uh there is a concept of blanket lien it is protection to the lender of the short term asset based loan on current and future assets of the borrower generating cash flows from accounts receivable how borrower and lender can get cash flows from the accounts receivable under a lien agreement the first approach is the assignment of accounts receivable in this me method the a uh, lender enters in to a lending agreement with the borrower where the uh, borrower assigns its accounts receivable to the lender but the collection of accounts receivable remains as the obligation of the borrower the second source is the factoring of accounts receivable in this approach the accounts receivable are sold to a third party in order to ca receive cash immediately In fact the borrower is shifting credit guaranteeing and the collection process to the factor which is the third party Similarly uh, there are ways where cash can be generated from the inventory by borrower and the lender uh, the first option is the inventory blanket lien here the lender has the claim on some or all of the inventory held by the uh, borrower but the borrower has a legal right to sell its inventory in the normal mode of its business the second option with the lender is a trust receipt arrangement where the lender requires the borrower to certify that the goods goods are segregated and they are held in trust with proceeds of any sales directly remittable to the uh, lender as the goods are sold the third option uh, with the lender is the warehouse receipt arrangement it is similar to the trust receipt arrangement with the difference that there is a third party and that third party is the warehouse company this warehouse company supervises the inventory position of the borrower how we can determine the borrowing cost there is a fundamental rule to make various forms of borrowings comparable the rule is that compare a uh, compute total cost of form of borrowing and divide this number by total amount of loan received adjusted by any compensating balance in case of line of credit requiring a commitment fee the borrowing can be determined by summing up the interest and the commitment fee over the loan amount and if the loan is all inclusive means that the loan is also including the amount of interest therein then uh, we need to net off the loan amount by deducting the interest therefrom so in that particular situation the borrowing cost can be determined as the interest divided by the net proceed whereas net proceed is basically the difference between loan amount and the interest thereon and if there is a dealer's fee and some other fees as well then we need also to adjust these factors in our model to determine the borrowing cost like the model will be uh, we need to divide the sum of interest dealer's commission and backup fees over the a uh, net proceeds of the interest so in this way we can determine the borrowing cost to be borne by the borrower under a certain short term borrowing plan